Amazon Marketplace Web Service, or MWS, is an integrated web service API that helps Amazon sellers to programmatically exchange data on listings, orders, payments, reports, and more. XML data integration with Amazon enables higher levels of selling automation, which helps sellers grow their business. By using MWS, sellers can increase selling efficiency, reduce labor requirements, and improve response time to customers. Before you start submitting requests to MWS, you'll need to understand the concept of throttling. Throttling protects the web service from being overwhelmed with requests and ensures that all authorized developers have access to the service. After watching this video, you'll understand how throttling works and best practices for submitting requests. MWS uses a variation of the Leaky Bucket algorithm to meter the web service and implement throttling. What is Leaky Bucket, you ask? Let's think about what pouring water into a bucket with holes looks like. In this example, the water represents the requests coming into MWS, and the holes in the bucket represent the restore rate, which is the amount of time it takes to be able to make new requests. If too many requests are submitted at once, then the bucket overflows, and in the case of MWS, overflowing is known as throttling. The submitted requests process at a steady rate, so once you have met your maximum request quota, you have to wait before submitting more. If you don't wait, throttling will occur. You would then have to resubmit those requests once the request quota has been restored. Four rules control MWS throttling. The request quota, which is the number of requests you can submit at one time without throttling. The restore rate, which is the rate at which your request quota increases over time up to the maximum request quota. The maximum request quota, which is the maximum size the request quota can reach. And the hourly request quota, which is the maximum number of requests you can submit per hour. Specific throttling rules are found by navigating to developer.amazonservices.com, clicking Documentation, and searching for throttling. Different request and feed submissions have their own throttling rules. Let's take a look at an example of a list matching products operation. This operation has a request quota of 20 and refreshes at a rate of one request every five seconds. That works out to a maximum of 720 requests per hour if the request quota of 20 is not exceeded during the hour. The list matching products operation also has an hourly quota of 720 requests. After the 720th request, further requests will result in a quota exceeded error until the one hour quota resets. Keep in mind the following to make sure your feeds and submissions are successfully processed. Know the throttling limit of the specific request you are submitting. Have a back-off plan for automatically reducing the number of requests if the web service is unavailable. The plan should use the restore rate value to determine when a request should be resubmitted. Submit requests at times other than on the hour or on the half hour. For example, submit requests at 11 minutes after the hour or 41 minutes after the hour. Take advantage of times during the day when traffic is likely to be low on MWS, such as early evening or early morning. You can find more information on throttling by navigating to developer.amazonservices.com and searching for the keyword throttling in the documentation section. Mm -hmm.